When looking at different sports, there are cheap ones and expensive ones. The most popular expensive sports are known to us all, including tennis, golf, polo, and of course, lacrosse. There is more than one reason why lacrosse is expensive and why it's considered a rich person sport. So, why is lacrosse expensive? Lacrosse is expensive because of many things, such wide range of equipment, reputation, high marketing costs, and even higher profit margins. Naturally, equipment prices vary between brands, but the overall image of lacrosse is rich, which is why it's expensive. That said, it's no wonder that lacrosse is seen as an expensive sport. In fact, it can feel intimidating to start lacrosse because of this. Anyways, I'm sure you want to learn more about why lacrosse is so expensive. So without a further ado, let's take a closer look. Why is lacrosse expensive? Lacrosse is expensive because of five main reasons. There are other factors as well, but the far majority of the cost is due to the reasons as equipment. Equipment is the first thing you need even to play lacrosse. And it's quite frankly the first thing you will think about. When comparing lacrosse equipment to other sports such as soccer or basketball, you need far more equipment. In soccer or baseball, you need the ball, decent shoes, and that's about it. Brand variety. As in all things, you need to consider the brand. Luckily, you are in charge of the brand you choose to buy, so you aren't forced to invest the maximum amount of money you can. Still, the overall price range between brands is higher than in other sports. When talking about the Apple of Lacrosse, SDX, the leading brand of Lacrosse equipment and Lacrosse as a whole, they have a heavy presence in the PLL, with many high-ticket players under their name. The name SDX comes from the word sticks. Maverick, an exclusive Lacrosse manufacturing making only Lacrosse equipment. One of the big names in the industry, Relatively new brand, founded in 2005 that has grown incredibly fast. Cascade, ultimate choice for lacrosse helmets with many features, including lightweight, comfortable, and stunning style. Warrior, one of the leading names on lacrosse. They manufacture ice hockey equipment as well with a great presence. They sponsor Major League Lacrosse. Brian, the oldest lacrosse brand founded in 1922. They reap respect and trustworthiness in the lacrosse world. The founder of Brian, Bill Bryan also found Cascade, one of the most popular brands within lacrosse goalies. Anything from these brands will be expensive, but you will get quality with that. Quality equipment will last longer and can be a reasonable investment, but when you buy them, it can feel overwhelming. Look what? Reputation. Lacrosse has a rich reputation, and that's because so many of them are. If you have ever watched movies, they are always represented as the sons of multimillionaires driving fancy cars. If you have seen lacrosse players, you can see it, especially compared to other sports. When you can get soccer gear with less than $100 but need to spend $500 to $700 or more for lacrosse gear alone, you can see why. Lacrosse is played by those who can afford it, and that's partially why its prices remain so high. Marketing Lacrosse is heavily marketed, and that costs money. The people marketing lacrosse would want to lower their reputation as a more affordable sport because it would cut into profit. The manufacturers would be forced to drop prices if one of the competing brands considerably dropped them. As a digital marketer myself, I know how expensive it can get. And that's reflected in the price of lacrosse as a whole. High profit margins. Last but not least, the profit margins on lacrosse equipment are far more than in other sports. Why do you ask? Well, because the sellers can. Revisiting the subject of lacrosse's wealthy reputation, why will manufacturers sell with a minimal profit margin if a large cut can be gained from a wealthy target group? There is no doubt that lacrosse's prices will drop as the sport becomes more popular, but that time isn't yet as the prices remain high and the manufacturers have time to cash in. How much does it cost to play lacrosse on average? The lacrosse costs annually vary so drastically that it's impossible to give one answer. The price depends on how personal preference and level of play. Generally, a full set of new lacrosse gear will cost at least $500, but you can buy them used as well. If you have a child that plays lacrosse, the same equipment won't fit anymore a couple of seasons ahead. The playing fees are much more than in soccer, baseball, or football when it comes to junior, as the cost revolves only around referees and field rent. However, in higher levels of play, such as in high school or college, seasonal registration fees are usually near 200. If you're part of a lacrosse club, they can be $500 to $1,000 annually, depending on the club and location. If you look at the information above, you can take off most of the costs by not joining a club and buying second-hand gear. However, if you want to pay for new high-quality gear and be part of the club, you definitely can. 
it will only cost much more. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment. Thanks for watching.